I gotta be honest, guys. Yesterday's debate has got me thinking. We don't need to settle for two people who won't even have the grace to follow the code of Malakath. Seeking leadership well into your 80s is just desperation and selfish. We need someone who's younger, athletic, agile, and actually has remorse about drone striking innocent brown children. Give me a chief in his prime who will graciously step down knowing their mushy old person brain can't handle an entire country. Even before the debate, I knew who I was voting for, and that's none other than the money president himself, President Jimbull. Hello America, I'm going to be the money president. Each and every one of you get one billion dollars each. So you can all be rich. It's honestly a lot easier to vote based on memes. Researching public policy is too much work and who cares anyways. This leads me to the clip I recently stumbled upon in my feed because Biden is not winning any favors for me with the memes that have been distributed about him. Now this particular monstrosity is from a month ago, but the clip is so egregious it caused the unga bunga part of my brain to flare up and I felt the need to just have to talk about it. Funny comedian and late night host Stephen Colbert has created what is possibly the worst joke I have ever witnessed and what I can only describe as an absolute abortion of a skit. It is a mashup of President Joe Biden and Skibbity Toilet. Now I kind of feel bad because Biden didn't choose to have this meme made about him, but unfortunately his face is attached to it. I guess Colbert and his writers thought Skibbity Biden was the next magnum opus of political comedy because they play out this motherfucker even after the audience stops giving their courtesy laughs. The joke is about a brain rot meme and includes a terrifying image of our current president saying wacky memes. Now I'm gonna play the whole clip for you guys, it's only around 18 seconds long, but trust me, you'll feel like you're going to age about 18 years. Skibbity Biden. Skibbity Biden. Skibbity, skibbity Biden. Skibbity Biden. Jo, jo, jo. Skibbity, skibbity Biden. Hitler's language, Trump, Trump, Trump is using Hitler's language. Hitler's language, Trump is using Hitler's language. Give me these, give me these. If you're still here after the clip, I applaud you. There are only a couple things in this world that piss me off and the way this whole clip just moves and how it's animated. I just wanna punch my computer screen. Uh, Diesel, did you ever think that Mr. Colbert is aware this is an unfunny meme and this is irony humor? He's clearly making fun of Biden and his team for trying to relate to the kids. Now, this is true. Before Colbert shows this grotesque video, he goes over an article how Biden's manager is trying to find someone who can uh, make some, some goofy fun memes uh, for the Biden campaign. But here's the problem with this argument. Colbert showed signs that this meme is merely outdated, yeah, but he still thought animating Biden's head coming out of a toilet and writing those horrendous jokes was at all going to muster up a positive reaction. It's like how that Chinese proverb goes, you can't just fucking shit your pants and then say I was actually just making fun of the guy next to me. The irony humor still has to be funny, and this video just caused me pain. What's entertaining about this video? In fact, I would argue Colbert knowing this is an abomination of all that is good makes it worse. He knew this wasn't okay, but still released this skit to the public. At least Oppenheimer didn't realize he created a weapon of mass destruction until after he killed hundreds of thousands of people. Colbert was aware the whole time. It's like the Meat Canyon video, like Tom Brady jokes about him and his son kissing are funny, but when you actually create a visual for the joke, the balance of comedy and disturbing shifts drastically to the point where it's just disturbing. Had Colbert just said skibbity Biden and nothing more, that would have been a little cringe, but it would have been totally acceptable. We can meme with that, Mr. Colbert. But this visual, it, it irks me. The sound, the movement, everything about this short clip pisses me off to no end. I hate to play the clip again, but you have to listen to the point where the audience even understands that this isn't entertaining. This isn't funny. The clip continues without audience laughter, it's just a void of silence and confusion. And the worst part is, this is stuck in my brain. Whenever I go to the grocery store and see this fucker's mug on a Ben and Jerry's carton, all I can think about now is goddamn Skibbity Biden, so go fuck yourself.